Yes. Can you take us through? You, yes. yes. What do we have? What you what we have here, the first set is all the all the we made a we made a table for you. That you okay, let me let me just try and help you along. You yes. have the top page is your written explanation. Exactly. And the next the first few pages, the top document. And you have a tie to it. Um, a table showing the payments. This, tab the, this yes. table showing all the payment that we receive and we paid for all the time this company was exist. The payment was received where? Specifically in which account? S receiving in our account from Tel at the Euro African Group account in France Bank. We have all the slip. In France Bank, in which country? Lebanon. Lebanon. Okay. okay. We have all the slip of every payment and you have the bank statement of that. And at at the same time, you have the trust bank account showing where the payment was getting out. And you have the bank statement of both bank, trust bank and okay. And then you have the letters. The letters you are referring to. The letter you have the letter that March 15, 2010, one of the first letter writing about the financial problem with Nawek, the president, and you have other letter, also the one I write. Uh, there is another one for the. That's what What is the date of that letter? The first one, the one written to Nawek, that was in uh, March 15, 2010. And you have another one, December 14, 2011. And you have uh, May, 3rd of May, 2012. And you said 17 uh, September, 2012. And we have the last one, 2013, the one addressed to the president, explaining all the problems we facing and the, the, the problem on the country and the currency and now it, and the reply from him dated 7 may 2013 dated 7 may 2013 exactly all right our letter third of may and the letter we received 7th of may yes all right can you collect the documents Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have the, fo the folder produced by this witness as explanation for payments made into the account of the ex-president, then return these folders to him. Come and return this. So this they don't need. Okay.
documents tendered by Mohamed Bazi to the Commission in connection with transfers from the Dallas and dollar accounts in Trust Bank <coughs> belonging to Eagle and correspondence between the Office of the President and Mohamed Bazi in a bundle. Admitted Mark MS 59. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Mr. Bazi, I have some questions regarding um, the documents that you have produced. I'd like you to clarify um, some things on this document and some things you have previously said. You told this commission that Eagle had paid the Jame Foundation $1 million to build a mosque. Where was that $1 million paid? That $1 million was paid by material. We bring the, like the marble, all the material, window, uh, the door, all these things we, we supply. So what we spend over that uh, mosque is almost a little bit over the $1 million. But we supply in, in material, like from marble to all the uh, window, everything, even some workmanship, the engineering, everything. We, we during which period? It's taken more than three years, three to four years, from 2000 and 2012 till 2015, 16. Well, when I asked you about the payments, the $1 million that was paid into the Jame Foundation for Peace account, the first million dollars, you said it was for to support him in, um, in the mosque. You, you want to change that? No, I'm sorry, I misunderstood if that's what you was uh, saying. Mm. I, was ask, I was telling you a lot of other projects we was participating, I was calling no, them. It's okay, don't tell me what you're telling me. Uh, let's, let's just get on, Mr. Bazi. You, you've said it, you, you gave him material. Now, looking at um, these statements, and even your own summary. I note that from the 30th June 2011 to the 29th of September 2011, you paid $2 million into the Dallas account, the equivalent of $2 million into the Dallas accounts of the ex-president without having received any money at all from TEL, according to your own summary. TEL, sometimes we pay... Why, why would you pay, receive two million, pay $2 million, according to the story you told this commission, into um, the president's account, ex-president's account, without tell receiving me, any money from TEL? Can you tell me the date, please? Can you tell me the date again, please? It's from... Um, you can look at this table that you summarized for the uh, commission. Yes. From 30th June 2011, you paid 14 million 750 thousand, yes. which, which you say is equi was equivalent to 500 thousand. You yes. paid the same for July, August, and in yes. September you paid 15 million, all equivalent to 500 thousand, making it two million. But the first payment you received from Tel was in October, 3rd October, you s one one million 100 thousand. That's true, because sometimes, as I explained to you, Mr. Sharara was having some financial difficulty, and he don't want even to participate after long argument about this is coming from him. So we was to make this problem solved, we was paying in advance, and he given us later, but we reconcile every one or two months with him. If you see on... Uh, you, you were so generous, you paid two million on his behalf. Well, and to then even when he was paying you back, he paid you 1.1 million only. He was paying what he was be able to be able to pay, but I know he will pay. But if you check on downside, he was paying currently. But what? before we was giving him, and the only the only as I said earlier, well, the reason we are paying the Dallas because that Dallas the dollar was shortage, so that's the only help we was getting. We give the Dallas, we receive dollar equivalent, so that's the only thing we was helping. Yes, the first two three months he was why, having why problem. Should, why should Mr. Um, uh, um hotel have problems when they had the gateway and they were making money. They were paying into a gateway account in Gambia. Why would they have problems? 
Well, this one is a personal, it's from Mr. Ali himself. That's why he was having problem. Because this money was coming from Mr. Ali directly, not from How the company. How do you know that? Huh? How do you know that? Because that the difficulty he was facing, the financial difficulty in Lebanon. I know when I used to meet him, I used to put the pressure always on him, but there's always delay to pay, but at the end I know he will pay. Were you in any way a partner to Mr. Ali Sharara in, in, this, in this gateway? I never been partner with Mr. Sharara, not in Tel, not in uh, Spectrum, none of those. All the investor I bring into the country, I bring in goodwill, and everybody know me for that. I have my dignity and my proud. I don't go with partner with anybody. I just do a favor for the for them and for the country. <coughs> and me. the only reason I, I was helping him to fight for him because I know the guy lost a lot, lot of money, and I was the one bringing him into the country. So Mr. my my responsibility just to help him also to recover. And this is the reason I was paying in advance some time for him. I don't want him to have a problem. I want him to recover his money. Um, you refer to a Noah. Do you mean Noah Toure? Who? You refer to Noah. Noah. Noah Toure. Do you mean Noah Toure? He was working at the president's office, yes. Okay. Mr. Bazi, do you have anything, anything email correspondence updated at that time between you and whether by, by email correspondence or some, any other document dated during this period, which is um, 2011 to 2013, um, supporting this, the, the story you have told this commission that this one is where being paid on behalf of Mr. Ali Sharara? If you need supporting about this story, which is 100% true, themselves tell they're ready to send a lawyer here to tell you that with the document that is true. Um, well, I would like to see such a lawyer. Did you realize that what you're telling this commission, what was this money intended for? Was it an incentive to the president for, the, for giving him the opportunity to manage the gateway? This is between Mr. Sharara and the president. I was no, the Mr. no, Mr. Bazi. It's between you, Mr. Ali Sharara, and the president, according to the story you told. Yes, I was the intermediary inside to avoid exactly. because exactly. the relation between Mr. Sharara and the president was not a good relation because that was having problems. Mr. Bazi, my question is a straightforward one. What was the purpose of this money? Was it just an incentive to miss the president? The president asked Mr. Sharara to give him 500000 every month. For what? From his own profit or loan or whatever from the yes. gateway. So it was an incentive? Maybe. Or it was his share? Not share, no. There was Mr. Sharara, I don't want to pay this, and he was having big problem to pay this, but I was convinced. So what did, you, what did you consider this money to be? You, as an intermediary, you called yourself an intermediary. I consider, I consider madam, this money because Mr. Sharara has big problem and he has financial problem because of the $30 million has at the central bank. And I said to him, to be patient, the president was threatening us. Let's pay this money just to make sure that you were able to get your money. But the, the, so what, what is this money? Huh? What is it? What did you consider you were paying for? Well, this is Mr. Sharara was giving Mr. Is giving the president from his own his own uh, money, his own share, his own profit. I don't know, but was being given for him. You, but you advised him to do it. You said ad you advised him to do it. So. I advised him because we was having on the threat. If you don't do so, then the contract will not work. So it was a bribe. It was not a bribe. It was an incentive. That was not incentive that they called this what, money. It was Mr. extortion. What was it? The money, like say, he was giving this money to recover his, his money. They said sometime you give money to recover your debt. So this money was being given to recover his debt. <coughs> Mr. Mr. Bazi, how much exactly did Mr. Sharara agree with the president that he was going to pay? What they paid all total is about $10 million. That's How much did they agree before you started paying? What was the agreement? The agree How much? The agreement was 500000 a month. Until when? For that so long as the gateway contract continued? That was supposed to be for two years. 
or 20 months or something like that. But after some time, Mr. Sharara refused to pay any more because he was having problem. Because they, they didn't... Yes, was, you, have, you have told us that. I explained to you that he was having problem because he was not be able to recover his money and the president was been just delaying him, delaying him on that issue. Um, is that and and just wanting to explain why Mr. Sharara also stopped to pay. Because his, he invests on switchboard for the You have said so, three gateway. point something million. You have said yeah. so. Now, looking at both um, the statements you have provided, there is no consistency between the payments into your own account and the payment um, that, uh, into the president's account. And the figures also are not the same, entirely the same. I, I explained to you that Mr. Sharara was not paying, let's say, every, every, let's say, we reconcile every two months what we have paid, he will pay, it. and sometimes he was delaying on payment because he was having some financial issue, but he was paying a little bit late all the time, explaining and apologize for that. But at the end, we have, he has paid everything we have paid, so we don't... Yes, but the total amounts were still not the same. The total amount paid into your account and the total amount paid into in, in the Dallas account don't tally. They are oh. not the same. It's the because same. I want to explain something. Two, two months, you didn't see the, uh, the 500,000 going to in Dallas account. But if you notice in this statement, there was been a redrawer, same amount in cash. So sometimes there was demanding not to be on the account that demanded to take it in cash. Okay. How do we know, Mr. Mr. Bazi, that the money paid into your account in Lebanon was not intended for Euro Africa Group, was not the share of Euro Africa Group in this transaction? Euro African Group don't have any share, not Intel, not anywhere. As I explain our situation. How, how do we know it is not meant for you? I explain, I show you the statement that we received the money in our account in Beirut. The same money was paid here to the president account. And you ask me what the proof. And I explain if you need the lawyer of Tel is ready to come to give you the proof and to say that was been, that's exactly well, what I've done. Certainly, if Tel wishes to come, I think they are an important witness. If they wish to come, they should come. They will come for uh, two they issues. Important, they are important They are um, asking witness. help to come. To one, one, of, one of the reasons to explain to you about this, the other reason, they are asking the Commission to help them to recover their money from the Central Bank, $30 on, million. On, unfortunately, it's not the commission, within the Commission's mandate to ask, help anybody to recover money. We but are interested. I, Mr. Bazi, you are here to answer questions, please. Tell will speak for itself, I'm sure, in due course. Unless you are also representing Tell. No, the lawyer will come, the one representing okay. Tell, and they will come okay. and they meet with the Ministry of uh, uh, Justice and other finance to talk about the other matters. But I was thinking that sometimes people complain to the Commission, they have the right to do that if they have some uh, claim. No? Unless you are representing Tell, Tell should speak for itself. I'm are not, you representing Tell? I'm not representing Tell here. All right, thank you. We had asked you, when you were here the last time, to provide all payments received by the shareholders and directors of Euro Africa Group. This has not been provided. Could I, you please note? We need to I will, uh, but, but I want to explain to you, uh, we didn't provide any uh, dividend, the reason as, the, as the financial problem. And one thing I learned, sorry, this is I just, I just learned when you asked me, Mr. Samba, Amadou Samba, was because of our financial problem, 2010, he was resigning from Euro-African as director because he was, he was seeing some problem with the date from Nawek and the rise date, and he think that the company was not doing well, and he redraw his guarantee from bank like EcoBank, GTB, Standard Chartered. He was partner with us, and we used to put a joint guarantee to, for importation of fuel. And because what he saw, he was not happy about the company going on with Nawek and he was saying this will be, be running down. He redraw his uh, 
uh, as director from the company since 2000, I think t late 2010, and redraw his guarantee from all the three banks which is used to be part. But he did not sell his shares. He was asking us to buy him did out. Did he sell his shares? I'm explaining to you, madam. No, Mr. Mr. Bazi, you will answer the question first, and then Mr. you can Samba, explain. Mr. Samba, no, he didn't sell. He asked, he, he asked us to buy him out of the company, but the reason the company was losing money, I said, the company don't have value, we are losing money to buy you out. Well, he remains a shareholder of 45% of Euro Africa Group. Yes. Are you saying Mr. Samba did not receive any monies from Euro Africa Group? Since the 2009 till 2000 and, uh, 2016, no, 2016, yes, we start to give dividend now, which is the account will be out. But before those years, no, when he will have a problem with him, we don't. What about between 2004 and 2009? The company was incorporated in 2004. And before the company was incorporated, you were already enjoying uh, uh, exclusivity to bring in fuel into the country. I will, I Under will which company did you start bringing fuel into the country? Was Euro Africa, madam. I would like, I, and I would Euro like, Africa Group? Yes. And I would like to explain. When, what year did you start bringing in fuel exclusively for the Gambia? The fuel, I think 2005 or 2006, but I will check that for you. But no it cannot be 2006 because you have provided a letter from the uh, Minister of Finance yes. indicating that you had been enjoying that facility for four years, and that letter was dated in 2006. I want you, Madam, if possible, to, to bring the professional people at that time Mr. Work, Bazi, working let's, about let's, this fuel issue because we solve a pro problem when I, when of the When I'm talking, you stop talking and you listen to me. You are here to help us. Exactly. We are not but here you, to help you. Listen no, 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 to my no, no. question. But you should allow me also to explain. People need to know exactly the true story. Not You ask me short question to answer. I need to explain to you. You answer the question first and then if you have an explanation, nobody will stop you. But you have to answer my questions, not go off on a tangent. I want to know when you actually started enjoying an exclusivity over fuel. Because you have provided a letter from the Minister of Finance, signed yes. by Mr. M.G. Balagay, dated in 2006, which indicates that you had for the past four years been bringing in fuel for the country. That's not. Four years from 2006? Yes. I, I was not in the country at that time. You came to the Gambia in 2000. 2000. We start first project 2002. That project ended in 2000, end of 2003. Yeah. That's the first project that we was only we doing the energy generator for Nawek. We was not in fuel at that time. You started your first project in 2002. Exactly. That end around 2003, but I was not 2006. No. Mm -hmm. I will get you all the document required about this when we start the fuel importation. That should not be a problem. We have all the documents for that. Please do, because it's important that the story is clear. And the letter I'm talking about is a letter dated 5th September 2006. You produced it to this commission, and it's addressed to you, uh, Mr. Mohamed Bazi, Managing Director, Euro Africa Group Limited, and it's entitled Extension of Contract for Five Years, uh, in brackets, January 2007 to December 2011 for Euro African Group Limited to exclusively import petroleum products into the Gambia. And it says the Gambia government is satisfied with the implementation of the current contract which provides Euro Africa Lim Group Limited the exclusivity to import light fuel, petrol, gas, oil, jet, and kerosene into the Gambia. The contract has been satisfactorily executed for the last four years with regular and timely petroleum supplies and no shortages. And the oil marketing companies have been provided favorable credit terms for the supplies given to them. So this is dated 5th September 2006, and it's talking about satisfactory execution of a contract for the previous four years. So I would ask you again, when did you start, you said, with Euro Africa? With Euro African? 2000 and maybe 2004 or 2005, I'm sure. I'm before sure what I'm saying. Before 2004, huh? were you supplying fuel before 2004? This, the, 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 there was this misunderstanding. The fuel, light fuel was, uh, was later. But the, what we were supplying earlier was heavy fuel for Nawek, was not the light fuel. 
I can yes. get you the both. So you were supplying fuel, even we, if it was for Nawek. Now this letter talks about exclusivity. We will look into it. But under which company were you supplying fuel? I will check for you if it's Euro Africa or other. No problem. They both. All right. Mr. Chairman, those are the questions I have for Mr. Bazi in relation to these monies. The Commission may have other questions. Definitely. Mr. Bazi, what is your understanding of a monopoly? I explained last time, Mr. Commissioner, monopoly, if you have something, you are alone importing, you are alone pricing, you put in the price, you are controlling the importation, you are controlling the selling of the price. But in our case, we are government agent. Government, they are, they are the one who determine the price according to the world market. And I put sample, that I have a sample of the price structure. Every month, Ministry of Finance giving a price structure. They are the one determining the price, the selling price on the pump price on the retail. And they have importer margin. What we have in only the importer margin. And this importer margin, sometimes we give discount from that. So our margin is determined by the Ministry of Finance every month. So we are not monopoly. This is the misunderstanding many people have. Okay. And I just want to explain about the petroleum importation. I think the letter... We'll uh, come there. Let's okay. take it one by one. The Ministry of Finance that granted you the exclusivity referred to you as a monopoly in some of their correspondence. Are you aware that they called you a monopoly? In their eyes, you were a monopoly. Well, if they have done mistake, that's not our problem. I just want to explain one thing about the Ministry of Finance and the importation of fuel into this country Let's before we there. come in. No. Let's talk about okay. the monopoly. It's probably their problem, but it could also be your understanding. We never you had, we, 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 we consider we never had the monopoly. Yeah. In your understanding of monopoly, you were not a monopoly. Not a monopoly all. has four characteristics. Yeah. The first one is there were barriers to entry into the market. Do you agree there were barriers to the entry? You were the only ones who could. Number two, you determine how much you brought. Yeah? Number three, you had competitive advantage with regard to the product information. The last one, setting the price, was the missing characteristic. And that one was taken care of by your compensation from the ministry. You couldn't set the price, but you ensured you got paid for that loss of opportunity to set the price. So I ask you again, are you aware that you were a monopoly? Not at all. We never had the monopoly because I just, can I explain just two minutes about something from the Ministry of Finance? Thank you, Commissioner. The Gambia was, was having big problem and I'm sure you are aware, Commissioner, very well because you are in that sector as a banker at that time. Anytime, every month they used to have a shortage, queue of car on the station. And they used to have a problem because every time they used to have a Trump, a Trump oil deal or something, they used to lose few million of dollars every month, no forex for the petroleum, shortage, and was not satisfying. We come in and we solve all this problem. We never ask government. We, we accept to take the, the currency loss. We accept to take by Dallas. We give a credit to all the company. So that was a dreaming scenario for the Gambian government. We came and solved that problem. And we didn't, det we didn't determine the price. There was the one that determined the price. So if you ask, please, this is something very important. You should bring professional people who was, was at the Ministry of, uh, of Finance that time, like somebody like Bamin Jai or Balage, to explain to you what the difficulty used to be to import fuel to this country. And when we come, how we solve that problem? Yes. What you cited were the benefits of you being a monopoly. You came in, they blocked everyone else and gave you full exclusivity. There was no you, one. Yeah. There were oil marketing companies. There if, was not doing, there was, there, was, there was looking for the government to give them supply every month. That was the problem. 
I don't want to take the risk and do the importation because was a problem, was no forex, was so many problems involved. Plus, the storage facility, as you know, the stock was only for 15 or 20 days. The Shell Depot was, was built 60 years ago. Before we come, there was opportunity for all the oil market uh, to go that, and build the pool. That is, but outcome. Has to that take is outcome. Yeah, you are talking about outcome. What we are saying is the status of play. At the time, you were granted exclusivity. Other people were denied the opportunity to enter the market. That's a fact. You didn't set price, but you asked for a premium in return. So it helps to set the stage of your coming into the market as a monopoly or a sole importer. In any market, you have monopoly, a few players, oligopoly, or competition. Absent competition, absent a few players. There was a monopoly. We consider, okay, this is from your point of view, I respect, yes, we can take it that way, but we take it differently. And just one additional, one additional issue to, uh, to answer your question. Shell was here, Total was here, all those companies were here. And the government was asking all of them to build a depot because they was having big problem with the existing depot. And before we come in, nobody has taken that opportunity. Nobody was willing to finance. We was the only one coming in and take that opportunity. And we take risk because even the finance we take for that project, the country was uh, not even accepted, was at, at uh, risk financing, as you know. But we take that risk. We bring financing from a foreign bank and Total International to build that depot. That also shows that our goodwill, the risk that other company was here for 50 years, they never take that initial and the government not need that depot very badly. We are the only one who was able to do it. So that was your ability Th and your financial muscle as a result of the preferential status you enjoyed. Exactly. Yes. So now, now let's move on to okay. how you were able to keep that sole importer status. And I'm going to ask you a very direct question. Sorry, can you just repeat what you said? The benefits you cited were a result of your financial muscle, yeah? your ability to build a depot, the fact that when you acted as a monopoly or as an exclusive importer, you were able to guarantee supply at the right time. So those were the benefits, the outcome of the preferential status you enjoyed. Now, you enjoyed it for a few years. My question is a very direct question. Did you pay anything by way of service, by way of incentive, to retain the sole importer status? Not at all, because we, are, we was doing something good for the country and for the people, which is nobody was able to do it. So why we should pay? We should get thanks for, for, the, for, the, for the service we have done. The Just answer is no, you didn't pay. Not at all, no. Good. Mr. Bazi, the amount that was going into the ex-president's account on a monthly basis, the last time you came here, you said you were not aware. Eventually, we found out that you authorized those monthly payments. So, Mr. Bazi, what exactly were those payments for? When you asked me last time if, aware, if you are aware about this payment, believe me, I, you know, I swear I have an oath here. I was not aware because in our book was exchange. We enter in, in our book. Even our director, like my director Fadi and others, that's not aware about this because at, at the book was exchange. was money we paid in our account and here we paid and even I signed that paper personally, that's not from the letterhead of the company, because even our director, they don't know. I consider it as exchange deal. We, we, pay, we got dollar, we pay dollars. It's possible that you were not aware, but the facts are you authorized the payments. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, yes. You authorized. So you might have authorized and forgotten. But when you authorize something, not to be aware is a bit strange. It's what? After authorizing the payments, and then submitting that you were not aware. You could have authorized and forgotten, but not being aware of something you authorized. But to, that's to beside me, the point. Me, right, same, now, right now, what I want to know is the exact purpose for that. And we did ask you, were you servicing anything, any facility that you were made to pay on behalf of someone? You said no. These funds, they were meant for something. And it is still unclear, after the long testimony, what exactly the funds were for. 
can you help us understand in one simple statement what you were paying for? For 18 months. This payment was being made from a company called Tel, okay, from the chairman of the company to this, uh, to this account. It was after, uh, based on a lot of argument and problem and threaten. And I explained the problem of the guy and the reason this guy came and the reason he paid this money every month. And that's the reason when the guy stopped, just to show you, when the guy stopped payment, he was being kicked out again. Okay. You, you, you were paying on behalf of Tel. And it's you a, were not a partner to Tel. Not at not all. Not in any way. Not in any way. You were paying out of goodwill. I was paying out of goodwill to receive them also in my account. I was not paying them for free. Okay. So they were reimbursing you? It was an exchange, yes. While you were paying her, they were reimbursing you? Yes, that sometimes I pay one or two months, but we always do reconcile and we always, okay. I take all what we pay. And, yeah, and according to the terms of engagement with TEL, when TEL was set up, the ex president asked for $500,000. Yeah? Yes. In exchange for what service? He asked for this from Mr. Ali Sharara share or profit, and Mr. Ali was refused, and as I said, was a long argument, long problem, long issue, but the guy, even he don't want to do it, the reason he do it, because he was having other issue to be able to solve. That's why he entered into this, to pay this amount to be able to solve the other problem he has. Why did he refuse and you agreed to pay? Because I told him if he refused and, this, and they kick him out again, he will not be able to get his first money. That was the intention. I said, and also we have a threat in from the man because, you know, the man was like, he cannot, he cannot be able to defend what he said for me and him. You bring this guy, I need this, this. So the reason if we don't do this, he will not be able to be able to claim his money. Okay. The amount is a large amount. For you to have agreed, it means you probably believe it was a rightful compensation for something. Is this compensation in any way linked to your retention of the sole importer status? Not yes or no? No, not Thank at you. all. Thank you, Mr. Baz. Uh, Mr. Baz, I just want to make one thing clear. Earlier on, you said the commission should call this witness or that witness. You see, this commission calls only witnesses they consider helpful. But if you think that you ought to call witnesses, it's open to you. Nobody is stopping you from calling witnesses or bringing any documents in your defense. I just want you to take note of that. We are not stopping you at all. Thank you, Commissioner. I, I well. appreciate because some of this issue, you need, you need the people who were there at that time to explain to the Commission exactly what was happening. So then you will understand because some of the issue now is rumors, people talking, people just hearing something. <laughs> but if the right people here explaining to you what's happened on that time, then you will understand what we are saying was correct. That's the reason we're asking people to be... Well, I have, I have told you yes, the, I appreciate. the position here. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I appreciate All right. it. So don't have the impression that you are being shot out by anybody. No, no. It's up to you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. All right. Um, sorry, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to ask Mr. Bazi one question. You have alluded to difficulties that um, the country had and how you were trying to help the country. I, help I just. Sorry. You had made several statements about the difficulties yes. and how you were trying to help the country. You were taking fuel from Total. Is that not so? They were supplying you fuel and you were in turn supplying... Total um, International in Geneva, Total yes. International, isn't it? And they also had a subsidiary here, Total Gambia. But that's nothing to do with it. It's completely just please, different. Please, just answer my question. Then you can add. They had a subsidiary here, Total, didn't they? That's true. It was owned by them. It's two completely different. It was owned by them. Geneva, Geneva is just for like international global, supply. Just like Global now has a subsidiary in Gambia. Total Gambia was a subsidiary of Total International, wasn't it? 
the never do the, you know if you don't know say you don't know I know that one I know which is when they when we used to deal with total Geneva we told them about total year they said the the normally the uh, the station or what they call the, uh, the downstream or this is the that's belong to Paris management the uh, the fuel selling is Geneva is completely two different part yes but total Gambia was part of the total group wasn't it it's part of the total group that's true yes now in all these um, different contracts that you were given by the Ministry of Finance was it tendered was there any international tender to to companies before we come in was it tendered it's a simple question one really. time yes one time was the tender and which we time? win that which tender. time was it tended which time I, is that I think as around 2005 2005 yes it was tendered for the supply of fuel to Gambia and we was we, we was the winner of that tender it was tendered that time yes four now, of, before I, I will check exactly for you when but there was a tender that's the only tender done when we start that was the only tender yes after that there was no tender subsequently after until, that, the, until the monopoly or the the exclusivity ended in 2014 after, after that, after that, because they were so happy with the arrangement Mr. we have Mr. made, Mr. Bazi, please answer and was my directly, question. And was directly was being given to us every year. Yeah. They used to you renew. No, it's not for you to say whether they were happy or they were not happy. We will find out from everyone. Exactly. Just answer our question so this thing, this process doesn't get prolonged. You understand? There was no tender from 20, 2005 until 2014. That's right. All right. Thank you. All I can say is, um, I don't know who was happy, but the fuel, the, the, the fuel situation in Gambia has never been solved during this period. Um, for ordinary people, we don't feel any difference. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that's all I have. For can the I answer today. you for that uh, last commitment you made? That to be answered. I'm just telling no, because you. Because you're giving, you're giving, you're giving statement is the wrong, wrong statement. Mr. Bazi. Uh, as a citizen of the Gambia, I'm just making the statement on my own behalf that for us, nothing, that is nothing personal, has changed. That is that's personal. No, a lot of a lot has been changed. Right. When people Thank used you. to be so far packing on the on the station for wait for a day or two day to fill their car, since we came in, this is not even one day shortage. That's a lot of different. That you never experience any shortage anymore in the country. That's make a lot of. Thank, thank you, Mr. Bazi. We will, we will come. You will come back um, on the order because we have a lot of information from you. We are still waiting for more information from you. We are analyzing all the documents, and we will also call other witnesses. So please be on standby. We will call you again. I have other documents for you. Last time you asked me, but I, um, are they related to these transactions or what? They are related to something else. Related to the ferry at the port, related to the Navy land. Yes, I would like you to come back tomorrow. Um, no, sorry. Um. You can come back on Wednesday morning on those other issues. Okay, I have, I have some Including other. the ferry and including... Yes. And, and sorry, Maridere. madam, just for Euro-Africa, I didn't finish it. That, that goes just, we no, said we cannot finish Euro-Africa today. There is a lot for Euro-Africa. Yes, yes. you will be invited lot, back. Lot, I have still a lot to, to say and to ha give some document also. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I have a lot of document and a lot of issue to discuss on Euro-Africa also. Well, you mean to right. help the Commission with, because yes. we are not calling you for a discussion. But if you have any documents that will help um, this commission in its investigation of, course, of, course, of the exclusivity in particular that Euro-Africa Group enjoyed on the directives of the President from two th early 2000 to 2014, which is a long time, you are ha we are, will be happy to have them. I will. I will, Madam. And, Thank you. Uh, and I'm sure just need, I need you just also, as Commissioner said, some people from finance who was working during that difficult period to come and give a witness what we have achieved and what this petroleum exclusivity has been done to the country. I would like all this to pe for the people and public to hear and to see. That's what I said. I said you can call your witness. Okay, I will. But that I'm witness allowed. is, hold it. I'm allowed. Hold to it, please. Okay. That witness is going to be your witness to be examined by your lawyer or yourself and to be cross-examined by counsel. That's fine. I Very well. So long as you understand it that way. 
Thank now you, you will wait for you will wait for Commissioner Sin for further questions. One final question. You mentioned a special allowance. Was Spe there was a special allowance? For who? You remember the word special allowance? No, not at all. You didn't mention special allowance. Can you can you five hundred thousand per month? The one from Tel to, to His Excellency. Yeah, I you said maybe, maybe. You called it. You called it special allowance. We have called it so many names, but I don't. You were no, saying. No, no. I want to know exactly what you called it. I may have personally. That I cannot call it anything. He was asking the timing from Mr. Ali Sharara. He need to take from him five hundred thousand from his own money, from his profit. So you are withdrawing pay. that you didn't save special allowance. Me and you was arguing in what the what we should call it. The word what we should talk it. So we have saying so many words. Mm -hmm. Not allowance, uh, uh, taking a loan, or whatever you want to call it, you can call it. And the, the no, and no, I'm no, sure no, no. Wait, to, wait, solve, wait, wait, to wait. solve, to solve. I don't have to call it any name. I want you to tell me what you called it, because that's what I heard. Either you said it or you didn't say it. I didn't say it. Thank you. Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hold it. You said you didn't call it allowance. Fair enough. But what would you call it? <laughs> this is the argument again, Commissioner. I said, what would you call it? This is what, this was determined from Mr. Sharara to be given from him as part from his profit, from him, for free of charge, for anything you want to call it. And the lawyer of Mr. Sharara will answer you for this. Hmm. If you allow me to call this lawyer any time next week or after to come here to be to give this evidence, if we ask you to call, huh? I didn't get the last question. The if lawyer we, of the lawyer of Tell is ready to testify in front of the commission. If you I, come please here. don't keep telling me that. I have already made it clear okay. that you can call any witness, but that's up to you. It's done, sir. Consider it done, sir. Thank you very much for your approval. You may leave. Thank you, sir. All right. I enjoy to stay, but anyway, if you ask me to leave, I will. <coughs> he says, sorry. I didn't get it. What did he say? I have no idea what he said. Mm -hmm. Um, we have, we, I call Mr. Danso. We'll just start him and see whether we can finish. Mr. Tumbul Danso. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by the Almighty Allah that the evidence which I shall give to this commission, that the evidence I shall give to this commission, shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me Allah. So help me Allah. Okay. You can wait for the okay. instruction. Thank you. Would you kindly state your names, please? State your name, please. Your names. My name is Tumul K. Danzo. 
Where do you live, Mr. Danso? I live at Brusubi, phase one extension. What work do you do? Pardon? What work do you do? The, I'm currently director general of GPPA. What is GPPA? Gambia Public Procurement Authority. How long have you been there? I've been there since uh, April 2011. Did you work as managing director of the Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation? Yes, Your Honor. Would you like to sit down? Thank you very much. During what period were you managing director of Social Se Security and Housing Finance Corporation? I worked as MD Social Security from 2006 to September 2009. 2006 to 2009? Yeah, January 2006 to September 2009. Uh, during this period, did you deal with um, any loans which were given on the instruction or directive of the Office of the President? Yes, I think I can recall one loan which I processed during my period as MD. I'm going to show you um, document that has been admitted in the, before this commission. Um, exhibit SC 17. You have exhibit. Do you recollect the nature of the loan? Yeah, it's, um, it was a loan in the sum of $1 million. Made to who? It was made to the office of the president. Why was the office of the president being given a loan of $1 million? Actually, they wrote to state that there were some pressing government matters, so they needed a loan from SSHFC. Uh, who approved the loan? The loan was approved by the SSHFC Board of Directors. Just to give an overview of what exactly happened, um, when we were called uh, at the office of the president that they needed a loan of this amount, we had to request that they put it in black and white because I needed to have something to be able to act on. So I think an hour later, they brought a letter that was stating their, their, uh, their, their request. Could you look at SC 17, if there is anything there that can help you in answering your questions? So how was the request processed by, by, by you? I think this is the letter I'm referring to. As you can see, when I got the, the letter, I addressed it to the Director of Finance and Investment. And what I wrote in my instruction was, for the necessary action, dash, board resolution and bank transactions. So my, my, direct, my, my directive to the DFI was very specific. It was for us to go through the relevant procedure and then thereafter, final payment. Okay. So the, uh, if you look at the second page, we, that, that's the walkabout resolution that was, that was sent around the directors. Yes, Your Honor. And your chairman at the time was Mr. Mr. Ahmadou Samba. Yes, Your Honor. Did this loan qualify under, the, the, under your investment policy at the time? The, it is not unusual for... Did it qualify, Mr. Danso? 
I'm not talk, I'm not asking whether it's usual or unusual. Did it qualify? So for for investments, it is very specific as far as my memory serves me. We have normally been giving loans to member institutions. But the or, office of the president is not a member institution. Yeah, the office of the president is classified under government. It is not classified under the, the investment policy as such. But like I was saying, from, from um, the historical history of SHFC, uh, government has been approaching the corporation from time to time to come to its rescue, even when before I became MD of SHFC. So I'm quite aware of that. And in fact, don't, those loans were far in excess of what we are looking at right now. For example, um, when government uh, intends to purchase the grounds that's being produced, uh, produced by the farmers, they would approach SSHFC to step in to provide short-term financing. But then those loans have always been repaid. So I'm quite aware of that way before I became MD of SSHFC, that this is not nothing unusual. But of course, all sides have to keep their side of the bargain at the end of the day. Mr. Mr. Danso, um, in terms of short-term financing, I would expect that that would be done on the basis of some return to the corporation, some interest. That's right. You would be expected to earn some income for the fund. That's right. Now, this loan is a loan for $1 million, period. It doesn't say that um, any income was to be earned. Um, it was just money being lent to the office of the president. That's right. There is nothing in the, in the documents that we have seen which suggests that it was to be um, on, on any sort of interest. Yeah. That is why, if you look at it from a purely investment point of view, you would not call it a wise investment. Would you, call it, would you call it an investment at all? Yeah, you will, you will not call it an investment at all. This is an intervention that uh, SHFC is rendering to, to government. And that is why when we got this letter, the first thing we need to do is to send it out to the board of directors. They will look at it, and then they will come up with their own uh, decision as to exactly what needs to be done. So I was... All I needed to do was to wait for the outcome. If it is a yes, then I proceed. If it is a no, then I, I write back to say that I'm sorry. The loan has not been approved by the board of directors. Okay, but in, in your work about board resolution, what you said is since the provision of such financing is of national interest, board members are hereby urged to approve this submission to enable management to expedite the facility in line with the instruction. That's right. That's what you said? Yes. So you, you did take a position? Yes, I, I realized that it is of national interest as per their letter. And you can see in my signature as well, I also signed. As, Until as you left, this loan was not paid? The, pardon? Until you left, this loan was not repaid? The, I think um, I was actually transferred two, three weeks after this loan was granted. I, mm. Mm. to the GPPA, Government Public Procurement Authority. Did they explain to you in your discussions before they wrote what the five, first $500,000 cash loan was for? No, we have not been told what the money was going to be used for. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Those are the only questions I have for Mr. Denson. Very well, Mr. Danso, you may leave. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> so, what did he say about a million dollars? Thank you. The document you were given, sorry.
Yeah, man, I will be breaking at this time. I, I do have a witness, but I know it's over time. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. rise until tomorrow. I just saw the, the, the commissioners, we are still sitting. Maybe they wanted a little bit more. To continue. <laughs> the heat is too much. <laughs> yeah.